We're a nickel mine operating about 45 kilometers south of Kimbelda. Mining in the last couple of years, 500,000 tons a year of nickel ore, grade of about 2 to 2.5%. Two I suppose the challenges that Serpact really does help us with is trying to model the ore body and getting the ore in the right sort of shape in the right place to be able to go and mine it accurately. And that's where Serpact is the most helpful. It's important that we have really accurate information so we can make the best designs possible and ensure that we're getting the best value for money out of our ore body. I think SERPAC allows us to have the most accurate information so we can do the best job. The SERPAC package helps the operation primarily right from the surveying, right through geology, through to the engineering site. The whole uh, site uses SERPAC between the three departments and um, we have no problems with transferring the data between between all those departments and everything flows naturally. It's really easy to talk to the surveyors, the engineers, bring in plans, um, trying to communicate from our end what drill holes we have in the area, what the ore is doing. Surveyors obviously pick up the, de the development and the stoping activities on a monthly basis. The geologists use that and the drill hole database to create the ore body shapes and then the engineers use that to generate the mining plan. I use SERPAC to process uh, underground survey data that we've collected. You don't have to jump back and forward from, from one program to another in order to do your job. For someone that's not computer savvy, it, it can be an issue and SERPAC makes it easy. The macros just makes life so much easier and in, in, instead of doing a solid manually, it can take you anything from an hour to a day. The macros just makes it so much easier and probably cut the hours in two minutes really. My responsibility as mine geologist here is looking after the drilling. I guess the basis is using SERPAC to bring in the drill holes and so we can look at the assays and the lithologies and obviously join those up. With the day-to-day -day updating of our drilling into SERPAC, we can use that in conjunction with the other drilling and our knowledge of the geology to interpret what's ahead and make more accurate, informed decisions on where we want to put the development. So if we are hesitant as to what we're seeing underground, we can use SERPAC as a guide to figure out and, and better understand what's happening, whether it be in terms of structure or lithology. It comes to you that much easier when you can see it in 3D on a screen as opposed to just looking at, a, at a, a level plan which is obviously in a 2D frame. I use SERPAC to do all of my design work uh, which I then put into a schedule. So the design work involves getting the ore shapes from the geologists and creating feasible designs around shapes that we want to mine. When we've created some of the solids, um, hasn't hasn't validated properly, which is a problem that you can get, particularly when you're working with some highly detailed files like the CMS, which has a lot of triangles. We want to out-a-sect to report the proper amount of tons. The old way, I would have had to go in and manually change each one of these small triangles which are overlapping. The new version has got a great tool called the Solids Repair Function. You can see those invalid red triangles there and with a few clicks of a button, it deletes them. And that can save hours of having to validate shapes. Then we come up with a slope design and a drill design and we pass that information back to the surveyors and they use that information to go down and mark up the holes. So it's continuously going around and data is being transferred between different departments all the time. If we didn't have that information, we wouldn't be starting this stoping panel you know, in the right place and we might not be making as much money as what we should be. SERPAC helps us optimise our operation by knowing exactly where the ore sits. This is very important for us, so we don't want to be mining waste when we should be mining ore. If I was starting up a mine or um, starting up a new operation and I needed something that was going to be 
user-friendly, you know, cover all the bases, Surpack would be the number one package that I'd go for. You know, I mean, right from survey all the way through to engineering.